day. Yeah. Truly, I'm glad to be here. Amen. I'm honored to be in the presence of my mother, Amen. Mother Ford. Amen. And I want to thank the committee for and Mother Dobbins for asking me to participate Amen. in this your great 2010 Women's Retreat. <coughs> and it's truly been a blessing yeah. and awesome. And I praise the Lord for being able to be with you today. Yeah. My topic is praying with authority. And I said to my cousin, Mother Ford, my cousin, blood cousin, mm. now you gave everybody else scriptures and you didn't give me one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, cousin. So if I not using the scripture that she had uh, set aside for this topic, uh, then I want you to blame mother. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord. But it's just good to be here. Yes. The scripture that I chose, and of course I have some other scriptures, mm -hmm. is John 14 and uh, 13 to 14. Mm -hmm. But I want to start off by just asking <coughs> all of us mm -hmm. have you ever been faced with challenges mm -hmm. amen. Yes, amen. have you ever been faced with problems yes, amen. have you ever been faced with situations yes. that you tried to fix yourself yes. and how long did you try My God. Uh -oh. Come on, talk back with Too long. Glory. How long did you try to fix that problem? Too long. Now, since we have been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. how many problems and situations and challenges have you tried to fix since you've been saved? Sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Come on and talk to me. I raise my hand. I raise my hand. I raise my hand. I raise my hand. Glory be to God. Because even with me, filled with the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. I still go into that mode of trying to fix it myself. Hallelujah. Now, how many of you, after you tried and 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 you, tried and you got tired and you say, now I'm tired of trying to fix it myself, no. I'm going to try something else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you tried that yeah. a little bit because uh -huh. you didn't give it your all. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> a little bit didn't give more. Spent a lot of money. Correct. A lot of time. A lot of energy. Trying to fix it myself. Yes, Lord. And I finally got tired. And I said, I'm going to try. Jesus. I'm going to try to do it his way. Really, really, sincerely seeking him. And pray. Because we pray. Yes. All of us pray. Uh, yes. Amen. Amen. yes, we do. But we don't give it our all. Uh, amen. My God. We do not give it our all. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. Amen. We don't give it our all. Uh -huh. And so we come to this mm -hmm. issue of are we really praying with authority? Uh -huh. All right. Come on. Right. Are we really praying with yes, authority? That's uh -huh. the so then when we ask ourselves that question, then we go into the next question is what does it mean to pray with authority what what is it uh -huh. what is it praying with authority is to know that if first of all if we have been saved sanctified and filled with the holy ghost means we receive christ mm -hmm. in our hearts as i said <coughs> we have the right yes to call god our father Yes. And to address him uh -huh. in the name of the only one uh -huh. who has made atonement for our sins. Yes. And that is Jesus. Yes. Nobody else. Amen. When we were trying to fix it ourselves, we went to the bank. We went everywhere mm -hmm. trying to get a fix. And it didn't help. Huh. Calling on Mr. Whoever, mm -hmm. President Whoever, and it didn't work. Yes. Nothing worked until I came to the conclusion that I needed Jesus to fix my situation. Oh, yes, God. Yeah, I, need right. yeah. I needed Jesus yeah. to fix my problem. Yeah. Yeah. If I had the time, I'd give you my testimony about when my daughter passed almost four years ago. Uh, a little bit, I'm going to tell you a little bit of it. Uh, I 
wanted my daughter with me. That was my oldest daughter. Uh -huh. I wanted her with me so badly. I would do anything to mm. keep her alive. Mm. And, and you get into sometimes even spending money hey. to try to make things work. I did that. Uh -oh. Lord still called her home. Amen. I did it, Mom. She still, he still called her home. Mm -hmm. So I gave some money, you know, thinking I'm going to send some money over here so they can pray. Mm -hmm. Pray for me so my daughter will, will, will stay with me. Mm -hmm. Well, she did four mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. So I learned something from that. Mm -hmm. That unless the, I'm praying according to God's will, yeah. I don't care how much money I spend, right. if it's not his will, yeah. it's not going to work. Oh, Amen. It's not going to work. Amen. So Jesus has the power because we know that he was crucified, buried, and he got up out of the grave. Amen. 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 And when he got up out of the grave, what did he say? Oh. No, that's not what he said. What did he say? Come on. What did he say? What did he say? See, I'm saying this because oftentimes we say things and we don't stick to what we really know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I do this every day for a living. We say things. We say things without really knowing sometimes what we're saying. And then after it comes out, we don't stick with what we know. If we know that Jesus was crucified, he was buried, he got out of the grave, and when he got out, he said,